where any real non-zero number omega find the determinant of the matrix shown. This question is from the 2024 UP Math Club's annual nationwide search for the Mach Wizard, which is one of the most prestigious collegiate math contests in the Philippines. This question was meant for 60 seconds. Pause this video first and try if you can answer this within the time limit. The matrix looks very intimidating at first sight, but the solution isn't really that complicated. If I remember correctly, one or two participants were able to answer this correctly within the time limit during the competition. The Dieten matrix is not 10 by 10 matrix, so I suggest that you should not even try finding the determinant using textbook methods like the Laplace or cofactor expansion. At least not outright. Don't even think about the shoelace method because it only works for 2x2 and 3x3 matrices. The trick here lies in the fact that the given matrix looks very, very much like a triangular matrix. In case you're not familiar yet, a triangular matrix is a square matrix where all entities above or below the diagonal are zeros. If the zeros are above the diagonal, we call that a lower or less triangular matrix. If the zeros are below the diagonal, we call that an upper or right triangular matrix. One useful property of triangular matrices is that their determinant is simply equal to the product of the end treating the diagonal. It's quite straightforward to code this property using the cofactor method since the determinant of the cofactors are mostly zero. The matrix we have is an upper triangular matrix if the ones in the fifth and eighth rows are zeros instead. So our first step for our solution would be to remove those ones by using elementary row operations. We can eliminate the one in the fifth row by adding the negative omega squared multiple of the fourth row. Note that since we are only interested with the determinant, and as I've said, only the diagonals matter in the determinants of triangular matrices, I suggest that we don't bother simplifying the entries to the right of the diagonal. So let's, let's give them as question marks here. Thus, the element in the diagonal in the fifth row is therefore omega to the fourth minus four times omega squared. We do a similar step to eliminate the one in the eighth row. This time, we add to the eighth row the negative omega to the negative five times to seventh row. Thus, the element in the diagonal in the eighth row is omega to the negative four minus seven times omega to the negative five. And now we finally have a triangular matrix that we want. The determinant of the matrix is equal to the product of the elements in the diagonal. So the determinant is this. We can simplify this using properties of exponents and write in factored form using polynomial operations. Hence, the determinant is equal to the product of omega squared, omega minus 2, omega plus 2, and omega minus 7. In expanded form, this is equivalent to omega to the fifth minus 7 times omega to the fourth minus 4 times omega cubed plus 28 times omega squared. And this is our final answer. If you have an alternative solution for this problem or any comments, clarifications, or violent reactions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.